Last year, government halted its month housing project due to alleged corruption and price inflation of the houses, resulting in them being unaffordable. Urban and Rural Development Minister Sophia Shaningwa said that it was necessary to suspend the project while government re strategized on the way forward. Shaningwa also stated that the project will not be stopped as government strives to address the country's housing needs. In Handisby, 53 houses were constructed and the town's chief executive officer told NBC News that a directive has been issued to the municipality to sell off the houses under the mass housing project going forward. We have actually received a directive that says we need to sell those houses to those who can afford. And this is the directive the municipality is implementing. We are in the process of selling them, but there are certain requirements that one has to meet in order to qualify to buy those houses, of which one of them is a pre-approval from the bank for a loan in order to purchase those houses. So it's not like we're just going to sell it to everyone that comes. There are certain requirements that you have to meet in order to qualify. It was revealed that there will, however, be another government housing program, but at this point it's not known whether it will have a different name or the same. The initial prices of the mass housing project houses ranged between $300,000 to $600,000, and the municipality is yet to decide on the new prices. Lime Hengumbi, NBC News, hand is by.